How do you stop people from trying to get an edumacation? <laughs> we are in a pandemic. I, I don't get paid enough for this. Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> Nancy. What? Fuck me out. I'm going home. Man, what's up, y'all? What it do? It's your boy, kind of bro, night, bro. Today, we're gonna be reading to Tao's reading 100 books in one month. If y'all don't know Tao, she's an animator. She disappeared for a hot little minute because there was some stuff going on here and there. She made a whole video about it. You want to check that out? You gotta check out her channel. But yeah, we about to go ahead and get into it. The title sounds pretentious, but the journey was. I said 100. Bitch says a thousand interesting anyways so let's share it last year the title sounds pretentious but the journey was interesting anyways so let's share it last year the intrusive thoughts finally won but the journey was interesting anyways so let's share it the title sounds pretentious but the journey was interesting anyway the, the title sounds pretentious but the journey was interesting anyways so let's share it last year the intrusive thoughts finally won and so i made it a new year's resolution to read a thousand books in a month that's right. It's always been the American dream to become Megamind. You sure you're not just asphyxiated? No. Watch. Nerd. Bookworm. Anorak. Point Dexter. Trekkie. Yeah. You saw that coming, didn't you? Not even a little bit? Okay, it wasn't that bad. You just sound constipated now. And I was <laughs> able to keep track of it all thanks to Goodreads. They have a reading challenge you can sign up for at the beginning of every year. But I didn't pledge to read a thousand books for the challenge itself because these reminders would be living in your head rent free. So instead, I opted for one. Some healthy skeptics out there might ask, but why though? Just to see if I could do it. Are you a masochist? No. Are you intentionally trying to fry your own brain? These questions suck. So you read. Name the first 100 digits of the square root of pi without a calculator. Bruh. To be fair, this was when a lot of activity-based places were still closed or limited due to the pandemic. So a lot of people either took advantage of this time to level up or let themselves go. Now, I wasn't about to jump into this challenge without having some sort of reading habit prior to it. That's like diving into a volcano without jump into this challenge glasses. without having some sort of reading habit prior to it. That's like diving into a volcano without dipping your toes into it first. <laughs> you mean cold water, right? You mean cold water, right? But like many peeps, I've been reading from elementary school days when teachers used to color code books to instill the concept of comparison games into children for the first time, which made this more dual books to instill the concept of comparison games into children for the first time, which made this more doable. But why stop there, right? Just look at the endless benefits to it. It's like green tea, which it's veggie -head and pigtails. apparently is the cure for everything. Thanks to this pastime, it was the only thing keeping me from doing something out of pocket, like starting a cult out of boredom or becoming this guy. And in the recent years, it's become more like crack. So to reach this goal, the plan was to read 33 books per day, which meant having no life for the next month or so. Hmm, 33 books. You really gone off the deep end. This is when we find the loophole and mix in shorter childhood books and even audiobooks, which count by the way. No, sir, I wasn't going to be reading the average 200 page book for all 1000 of them. No annual today. The genres I plan to read are listed here. Might Mangos. as well throw the whole damn library in there. Otherwise, if I was stumped about what to read next, I'd just go on Google recommendations, which was a fat mistake. Like what in the world? D's Big Nuts, an unofficial joke book for Fortniters. How to be black. Danny DeVito coloring book. All right, but besides the last one, why? So I would head over to my nearest library and as soon as I got cozy, the librarians would waltz over to tell me there was a 30 minute time limit for staying there. Why do you stop people from trying to get an edumacation? <laughs> we are in a pandemic. I, I don't get paid enough for this. Nancy, Nancy, <laughs> Nancy, what? fuck me out. I'm going home. <laughs> you like that? You like that? I'm obviously kidding, the lady was nice. But eventually I lost track of time and got booted. Surprisingly, Barnes and Nobles was still open, so it became my holy grail and mecca. It just had that wider selection I was looking for. And on other days, I'd remember the old dusty bookshelves I had at home. So I'd end up spending the day reading those too. I'd listen to audiobooks while I was drawing, exercising, driving, programming, shopping, and sleeping. Hey, wait a minute, gotcha. And when I had no mm. access to books, boom. Thank you, technology. I'd be flipping through digital books from my light bright screen before I went to bed, and I'd repeat that over and over again until I reached my daily book count. I'll be honest, some days I just never wanted to touch a book ever again. But you gotta finish what you start. So I wanted to see this through to the end. I'm making reading books sound like- yeah. 
finish what you start. So I wanted to see this through to the end. I'm making reading books sound like it's an Indiana Jones mission. And before I knew it, it was over. So what Yay. did you learn? One, I finally feel qualified enough to watch and understand Rick and Morty like the Reddit elites out there. Two, did you know that if you dig your nose into enough books, you can eventually morph into Facebook? Hey, wait, Google says that's not true. Facebook. Mm. It's more concerning you had to Google that. And three, I'm a certified overthinker now. I babble on like a tinfoil hat conspiracy nut nowadays. But in all seriousness, not much has changed since before. But I also unintentionally developed the speed reading skill by the end of it all. I'm telling you, smoke coming out of the pages. Was I actually able to grab the context of what I was reading instead of just speeding through the words? Surprisingly, yes. Would you attempt this challenge again? No, but I am on the road to 10k. Here's a list of some of the books that gets a chef's smooch in case you guys want to check them out too. I'ma sound like a pyramid schemer right now, but books are an Notice how the only thing I read was the only thing with the Bible. Underrated weapon. If you are into brain deflation, this challenge is for you. There's many concepts and ideas that can't be fully explained in depth through a single Reddit post, video summary, or article alone. They're all the author's life experiences carefully condensed into one piece of text. That's not to say some authors purposely make experiences carefully condensed into one piece of text. That's not to say some authors purposely make books 500 pages while saying the same thing over and over again, like a kid trying to reach a word count on the essay. But they say that if you read 10 books, you live to experience another 10 lives. Now tell me that's not a fire quote. That's nerdy, not fire. Facebook. So if you made it to the end, I have a challenge for you guys. If you got a good eye, you might have spotted these yellow stickers on the back of some of the books I reference in this video. If you can name all 15 of them, both the authors and the titles, not the parody names, send an email at mybookguesses at gmail.com. And for the first 10 people who got them all right, you'll get an email saying you got it. And you'll get to pick from one of these prizes. The hmm. pinned comment will let you know whether or not the challenge is still ongoing. Okay, have fun. Bye bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Have a tabs. Reading a hundred books in a month. Y'all don't know about me, but I've been using Audible lately. The you to read books and stuff like I got a whole bunch of books on there. Like they really name but mental guidance books and all that. Y'all should really apply to Audible. This video is not sponsored by Audible, but if you want to sponsor me, I'm just I ain't got I ain't got enough shower to be sponsored, but. If y'all like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see, and we out, boy.